Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to do fixed effects estimation using R. First thing I'm going to do is load up our data set. The data set we're using today is called MLDA, which stands for Minimum Legal Drinking Age. This is a panel data set, meaning that it has all 50 states from the years 1970 to 1983. Prior to 1984, every state was allowed to set its own drinking age. Starting in 1984, the drinking age moved to 21 over the entire country. The variables we're interested in here are the mortality rate, M rate, which is the deaths per 100,000 people for 18 to 20 year olds only. The variable legal is the proportion of 18 to 20 year olds who could legally purchase alcohol. States are denoted by FIPS codes. They are in alphabetical order, although you can see that some numbers get skipped. Number one is Alabama. The legal variable shows us the proportion of 18 to 20 year olds in that state in that year who could legally purchase alcohol. From 1970 to 1974, Alabama had a drinking age of 21, so zero 18 to 20 year olds could legally purchase. In 1975, they lowered that drinking age, and so you can see that number of legal purchasers of alcohol increases, and by 1976, that law had been in effect an entire year, so now about two-thirds could legally purchase. What that means is that they now had a drinking age of 19. 18-year-olds still couldn't purchase, but 19 and 20-year-olds could, so it's going to be about two-thirds. The reason why we have about 30% here in 1975 is because the law changed mid-year. So the higher number we have, the closer we have to one for legal, the more people in that state who can legally purchase. What we're going to try to do is figure out if there is any relationship between legal and M rate. The first thing that we can do here is just to run a simple regression of M rate on legal using our MLDA dataset, and then take the summary of that to take a look at our results. We can see here that we have a negative coefficient estimate for legal. And what this suggests is that the more legal drinkers there are, the lower the mortality rate. This might initially seem like a bit of a surprise because the more 18 to 20 year olds who can legally purchase alcohol, the more likely it is that we're going to have things like drunk driving uh, that would potentially increase the mortality rate. So this seems a little bit strange. Of course, we might have some omitted variable problems here. If legal is correlated with state fixed effects or time fixed effects, or of course, idiosyncratic error, we're going to have some bias in our estimate. The simplest way to deal with this is by estimating fixed effects model. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about two different ways to estimate fixed effects. The first method is dummy variable estimation. In dummy variable estimation, we add a dummy variable for every single time period, in here it's years, and for every single cross-sectional unit, which here is states. The thing to remember about this data set is that year and state are both numbers because our states are using the FIPS codes and not the actual names of the states. So we are going to have to remind R that we want to convert these into dummy variables. To run the dummy variable regression, we're going to do LM, M rate on legal, but now we are going to add a dummy variable for every year. To do that, we do factor year, and we also want to add a dummy variable for every state, so I'm going to do factor state. If you forget to put factor, it's going to treat year and state as numerical variables and not create dummies. So what we want to do is make sure we always put factor here. Again, data equals MLDA. We'll take the summary of that to check out our results. 
I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see more of it at a time. You can see that there's a lot going on here now. We've got uh, our intercept and legal, just like we did before. We can immediately notice that the coefficient estimate for legal has changed greatly. It's gone from negative 6.5 to positive 10.8. What this now suggests is that there is a positive relationship between the proportion of legal drinkers and the mortality rate. That's going to make a little bit more sense than what we saw before. What we also have are a bunch of new estimates. We've got a dummy variable for every year going from 1971 to 1983 because 1970 was chosen as the base group. What we notice here overall is that as time goes on, the mortality rate goes down. Remember that these are nationwide trends that affect every single state. Now we see there is a huge number of estimates for coefficients for the state dummy variables. We have 49 of these because one was chosen as the base and that was state number one, which is Alabama. These numbers tell us what is the average difference in mortality rate from Alabama relative to each of these states. So state number two is Alaska. What this means is that in an average year, Alaska has 107 more deaths per 100,000 people than Alabama. But if we look at one that has a negative, such as state number nine, which is Connecticut, this says that Connecticut has 45 fewer deaths per 100,000 in a typical year, again, for 18 to 20 year olds. The advantage of dummy variable estimation is it allows us to look at these state level fixed effects and think about what, which are the states that have higher and lower mortality rates. While this is potentially interesting, it does not contribute to our discussion of the variable of interest, which is legal. So we might be interested in a way to simplify our regression while still getting at that core question. And that is the within estimator. The within estimator time D means each one of the variables. And since the fixed effects for each state do not change over time, those will simply vanish from the regression. We're still going to have the exact same estimate of the legal coefficient. We are also going to continue to have our time dummies in the regression and also get estimates of those time effects. To run the within estimator in R, we need to use a new function called PLM, and PLM comes from the PLM package. So in our studio, you can always install packages by going to install and typing in the name of the package. So you'd put PLM here and click install. I've already done that, so I'm going to go ahead and enable the package. So you're going to go down uh, and find PLM. Once you've installed it, check this box. Uh, now we are ready to go. So to do the within estimator, I'm going to do PLM, and that stands for Panel Linear Model. This is just going to give us a few more tools that the normal LM function does not have. But generally speaking, it looks very similar. So we're going to do MRate, run that on legal, plus factor year. Okay, so that's going to put in our time dummies, which are still going to have to be included. But now we are going to do the within estimator for the state fixed effects. We have to let the PLM function know that what we want to do is state fixed effects. So we put index equals and then in quotes state or you would put whatever your variable name is there. And then finally what we need to do is tell the PLM function that what we're going to do is the within estimator. So we need to put model equals within. I'll point out here that the PLM function is also capable of doing other types of estimation, not just within, it can do first differences, it can do random effects, and model is where you would specify that. We're just gonna look at within today. And then once we run that, we can take the summary of models estimated with PLM, just like we did with the regular LM function. So let's run this whole thing. And you can see here that I forgot to put in data equals MLDA happens to everybody. Let's take a look at the results. We can see here that we get the exact same coefficient estimate for legal as we did before. If we go all the way back up here, 10.8, and we get the exact same estimates for the time effects as well. But now 
we see that we do not have any of the dummy variables for state. So this is a lot cleaner estimation that doesn't have all those dummy variables floating around. With states, we only had 49 dummy variables, so it really isn't too bad to run the dummy variable estimation, but you could imagine a data set that has thousands of cross-sectional units that you really would not want to be messing around with the dummy variable estimation. Within Estimator is going to clean that up very, very significantly for you. The other thing to notice is that when we put in all these dummy variables, we are essentially allowing the regression to have a customized intercept for every single state without actually knowing why that is. It's useful in terms of controls, but we don't have any real information about what's going on. Generally speaking, dummy variable estimation is going to have a very, very high R squared. Here we've got about 0.82. But a large amount of this is because of those state dummy variables. And so another advantage of within estimation is by getting rid of those state dummies, it's going to deflate the R squared to the much more reasonable number of 0.36, which is more reflective of the actual information that we have in our regression. The last thing I wanted to point out here is fixed effects, whether we're doing the dummy variable or within estimator, is going to clean out a lot of potential omitted variables if those omitted variables are fixed over time or fixed across cross-sectional units. However, that's not to say that there couldn't be other omitted variables out there. Those omitted variables that are going to be part of the idiosyncratic error. So using controls and proxies or instrumental variables in some cases will still be useful while also doing fixed effects. In our data set, we have a potential control variable in the beer tax. So we can add that in very easily uh, to our PLM function. I'm just going to take my code here and call this beer just to indicate that we've got that. In the data set, let's check this out real quick. The variable is called beer tax A. So we'll just add that right in. I usually like to put these before the time dummies and see what we get. We can see here that our beer tax variable is not very statistically significant, but that is how we add in controls. That's been a quick intro to estimating fixed effects models with dummy variable estimation and within estimation in R. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.